going to start off, we're going to do each chakra. So, we're going to start off with the base chakra. Right? And as you, yeah, as you connect it, I'm going to talk you through it. I'm going to explain to you what it means. I want you to feel it. Yeah? So, when you close your eyes, take your deep breaths. And I want you to focus your attention on your legs right down to your toes. This is your base chakra. But I'm down as the root chakra. And just really feel the energy of all your legs, your knees, your calves. Just focus your attention on that part of your body. How does the energy in your body feel right now? This, this chakra is about your connection to the earth. So this is very light, it means you're really well connected to the earth. You feel secure in who you are. If you feel unsafe, if you feel not really secure, you're going to have a pain in this part of your body somewhere. So as you connect to your legs and your calves and your feet, ask your body, is there any part of your legs or feet that want to give you a message right now? And if there is, I want you to focus your attention on that part of your body, like if it's your left knee. I want you to really focus your attention on your left knee. And just ask for left knee, not out loud, but just to yourself. Tell us this part of the body. What message have you got for me right now? Why have I got this broken energy? What are you trying to tell me? And really listen to the message you get. I'm going to do the hip, the hip chakra, which is the second chakra. I want you to connect. Now, when you connect to this chakra, I want you to feel the energy of it and how does it compare to your base chakra. Take a deep breath. Put your heads tonight and get in the way so much. It's okay, it's just reflection. So, I want you to focus your energy in your whole hip region. This is called your sacral chakra. Very relevant here because this is where you put the lady energy. So this is all about creation. So I want to show you all the energy around your hips, around your sexual organs, around your pelvic bone. Just really focus your attention on this part of your body. How does the energy of this part of your body feel right now? Is there any part of your area of your body here for a message for you? And if it has, just connect to that part of the body. Really connect to it. Really feel it. And love it. Make it a beautiful friend in this pain. And just ask it telepathically to give you a message. What do I need to learn? What am I blocking about myself? It's all about our creative abilities. And one of the biggest blocks to our creative job is guilt. Guilt stops us creating. And the big lesson in this part of the body is your acceptance. To accept your own creative abilities. So I want you to imagine right now that you're very playful. I want you to imagine you're creating in a very playful way like you did as a child. Because kids play in a very creative way. Just as you imagine playing in a very creative way, just feel what happens to your energy in your hip region. In your body. And now we're going to focus on the power chakra. Now this is above your hips and below your chest. Focus on the energy around your abdomen, around your stomach. It's not only your power chakra. It's the power part of your body. So really feel the energy in this part of your body. And how's the energy in your abdomen area? How does it feel different to your area in your hips, your sacral chakra, and the energy in your base chakra? So now let's go back to focusing on the energy in the abdomen area. This is about our strength of identity. Like our inner power. This is about courage and strength. So if you haven't got inner strength or courage, you tend to have fear, 
perfect kidney, so the kidney's known as a fear organ. So this is all about accessing your ability to handle life, to be strong. I want you to connect to this area of your body and just feel, is there any message from your any part of this part of your body? Your stomach is the main part, but also your intestines. This is where you digest what you know. Is there any part of this stomach area got a message for you right now? If so, really connect to it. And now I want you to really imagine that you're a really powerful animal right now. Whatever animal you see is powerful, tiger, lion, elephant, whale, whatever it is, I want you to imagine you're a really powerful animal and I want you to bring this animal into your stomach area. This is called a power animal exercise. This is what I do with kids so they don't get bullied at school. This exact exercise to bring the power of this animal into their power chakra. Just allow yourself to feel the power of an, of an animal inside of your power chakra. And just feel what happens to your energy in this part of the body when you do this. Okay, but where you want to focus in your chest region, below your shoulders, above your stomach, and just really focus on this part of your body. This is where your heart and your lungs are, and your ribs. So just really focus your attention on this chakra. This room I'm connected to the energy in your lower chakras. How does that energy in your heart chakra feel compared to your? Our chakra, or below, your hip chakra, your sacral chakra, and your legs chakra, the base chakra. Now I just want you to really focus back on your heart chakra again. Really just be aware of your heart. I want you to focus and connect your heart right now so that you're so connected to it you can even feel a thing. You're that connected. And as you breathe, I want you to really feel the breath come right into your lungs in and out. Now if you really focus on this part of your body, I want you to ask this part of the body, is there any message in your heart chakra that your body would like to tell you? From your lungs, from your, from your heart, from your ribs, from your upper back. Generally this area is around self-love. As I said before, lungs are around grief. Important issues here around distrust. We're going to be hurt. We don't love ourselves. We felt we didn't get love from people when we were younger. Lack of self worth. Sadness. So as you're connecting to this, sometimes you can get emotional. Breathe into the emotion. I want you to thank the emotion if it's sadness. Really connect to it. Look at your friend and ask what message it's got for you to learn to reconnect to your essence. I want you to focus on your throat chakra. When you do this, your throat chakra will include your arms. This is about communication. Yeah? So when you focus your energy, when you focus on your throat, your shoulders, and your arms are down your fingertips. It's all part of your body. 
Fight us. So just focus on your throat chakra and the start off with what we did the same with that previously. When you really feel the energy around your throat, your shoulders, and your arms, right down your fingertips. It's all about expressing your truth and communicating with the world with what you know. How's the energy of this chakra compared to your heart chakra? How's it compared to your power chakra? Sacral chakra and your legs. Just in your own way, just feel the difference. And now I want you to really focus on this part of your body. Is there any message that your neck has got? Your shoulders, shoulders have been burdened, burdened by communicating to the world. Any issues with your arms or elbows or fingers or hands. It's all about communicating. Hands about purpose. About communicating your purpose. If there's any part of the chakra you've got an issue, or would you really connect to it? Now I want you to imagine that you're an animal that really loves to express itself. Like I love to be a galah, that was very pretty, it was really loud. I mean, imagine now being a really powerful animal that loves to express itself, make a lot of noise. Just really feel the power of expressing yourself, expressing your energy through this powerful animal. It could be a big bear making a big scream or whatever it is. But I have to really express your energy with your throat chakra. Okay. Should we focus on the energy in your forehead? Into your third eye. This is your intuition. This is what you know. Which we know we don't need to think. So connect to your third eye and the top of your head, the crown chakra, which means right up the top of your head. Connection to source. Whatever that means for you. Whatever concept of God or your guardian angels or other dimensions you connect to, just lay yourself to connect to the higher dimensions of reality. And just imagine that energy coming as you're breathing in, but just want, imagine you're breathing in through the top of your head, down through into your third eye. Just breathe out breath, just breathe out through your nose, just breathe out. In breath, just breathe in through the top of your head. Just imagine breathing into your beautiful soul essence, your connection to God or the universe, whatever you perceive it. Just read it out that beautiful white connection, the beautiful white, purple colour spinning into your, into your hair and your breath, right into your third eye. And ask the top of your head, this third eye, your third crown. Is there any message that this part of your body has for you right now? Just be grateful, say thank you, if it has got a message. Body loves you to sleep to it. It loves you. 